Hello there, and welcome to my 17th 3D tutorial. And this is my last um, loading external models tutorial. And this one isn't just loading external models, even though it's a big part of it. Um, as you can see here, this is kind of a modeling model viewer program that you can use to view models that you have. Also, you can load in um, uh, most any model type that I could find possible that can be loaded into GameMaker, and then you can save that model as a D3D, so you can load in OBJs and convert them. Now, also a main part of this is taking screenshots of models, like say you want a loading bar or something. Then you can take a screenshot of your model in here, and then just bring it into GameMaker and make it transparent. Like so, you can change the background with this little box here. So say you want it to be a green background, and then also you can get rid of the lines. And then there you have it. You can take a pretty good quality screenshot, and it will be just, yeah, around here or so. Pretty big box there. It won't include any of this. Also, you can move the model around using the arrow keys. Or these little things up here. Or the arrow keys. Okay, and then here's the picture button right here. Also, you can um, open up old, um, like files, previous files. Only three though. So as you can see, here's another model car that you can view. Another one. So yeah, as you can see, it's got pretty good functions here. Also, in opening up position you have to choose what file type. Now D3D here will will be opening up um, just GM um, models, so it could be GM mod, mod, or D3D, or any other um, gimmick files that you find. Here OBJ is just OBJ, no other type of file type, and here's text, which I will show you how to do. Now, there's quite a bit of textures you can get, and once you open them, then it'll just automatically paint the model. So I've, um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, you can do that. Um, and I, I really don't like doing that. I usually like to paint the model instead. I don't usually like doing textures. Now, D OBJ here will take a little while to do, but that's okay. Like, yeah, OBJ usually should take a while. So then you can open up a model. and then um, saving, it's quite easy to save you just, um, now this D3, dot D3D here, you, it has to stay that way you have to leave that dot D3D there alrighty, so let's just save it as well perfect, it just saved it as a D3D and you can do that to OBJ, any model type you can save as D3D in here and then it'll open up in GameMaker the exact same way except it'll, except it'll open up really fast so yeah also this little button here the uh, GML button it will give you the code so you click it and it'll open up the code here of how to load it in so this one's just easy because it's D3D so it's quite easy to load in a D3D model it gives you the code it even tells you where to put it but if you're loading an OBJ model then yeah it's hard So yes, as you can see here, there we go, well, that's all I have to show you for this 17th 3D tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.